Hey folks, it's Nessa from Infinity Zero's channel. Um, and today is June 18th, Tuesday. Just wanted to show you a few tools that I bought recently and um, just wanted to share those. And my cute little shirt I got on Amazon. Um, just peace, love, and crochet. Um, yeah, so I got this on Amazon. It's uh, really, really big knitting needles. Um, Susan Bates. They're 25 millimeters, um, size 50. And I got these to try to do some broomstick lace. I'm going to learn how to do that. Um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And um, I know I was on a live stream today with, um, it was Ola Joe's live stream. And she mentioned she had gotten one of the new weaving kits from Yarnspirations. And it didn't come with the needle. Um, I know I had seen the video on the crochet crowd. And they had a video that kind of, uh, sorry, a needle that sort of looked like a shuttle. So that got me to thinking that these needles might help and work out. They're actually made out of plastic. Um... Ola Joe, I put the link in the comments of your live stream for the needles. Um, they're called finishing needles. The one that's missing there is this red one. I don't really like weaving in end much, um, but these actually make it a little easier. I had seen a video and somebody had mentioned these. You can use smaller pieces of thread um, with it, and it actually makes the experience uh, a bit more pleasurable ish kind of um but i do think um these might be helpful for that weaving project possibly it might be easier to slide it into the grid of the woven fabric um and you put the thread inside this middle part and that's why they come in different shapes depending the different um size yarn you're using so yeah um, so I wanted to share that. And um, I also recently ordered another kit of these. Um, I wanted the one with the case. Yes, the box looks beat up because that's how they shipped it. It was an Etsy um, seller. So I definitely put it in the review that they, uh, they just put it like in the envelope. So of course it's going to squish the box, right? Um, and somehow it came with that little hook in there by accident because the kit doesn't come with that hook um so let me show you first what this is this is the susan bates twist and lock hook which i actually like and i've been using for at least one or two years um this is the main thing that's happened which it's like peeling there so it's more of a cosmetic thing it doesn't hurt me um or bug me um how this plastic feels it's like a little grippy a little like sticky so it's not like smooth plastic like the prim hooks um but it is lightweight and it is big um like so it's nice and comfy if you have larger hands um so for example if you've ever used a prim hook that kind of is a comparison by the hook um size and um the cool thing about this is it's really nice if you're traveling this is the thread cutter there um it's good to have around kids and things like that too you know because it's not like sharp scissors um so to remove it if you don't want that tip you um you push in sometimes it jams a little bit you push in you twist and it unlocks and it comes out it has these little grooves i don't know if you can see them and then it that's how the mechanism is so you kind of fit them in inside the grooves hi buddy you want to say hi my doggy decided he he wanted to be part of the video oh he's such a sweet boy he is there it's not, he's not imaginary <laughs> see nose um anyway sorry back to the video buddy I'm busy. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so you can also stick them inside 
with this red cutter not facing outside. I've actually traveled with it and been on an airplane with it and had no issues with um, TSA with security within the US. Other countries are different depending their security. I find that the UK is their airport's a pain um, and their security was a pain. Anyways, um, that's all I'm saying about that. So they have different hook sizes and they can also twist and hook so you can remove them. You can also put them facing inward too and twist it and lock it in place. The other nice, you know, and then have both things like this and then it just looks like a, like a wand. Um, but they still shouldn't give you an issue with the hook. The hook is a Susan Bates hook. So yes, it's metallic and yes, it's inline. There's two different types of hook styles, inline and tapered. Um, this is an inline hook. Um, I use mostly inline hooks. Um, that's what I learned growing up with. That's what I'm comfortable with. I've used some tapered hooks, but I don't really care for it. Um, and yeah, I really like it. Um, so you can change this in my notions bag. I usually put different size hooks and then having this around, I don't have to take scissors with me when I'm traveling or on the go or it's in a tote bag and I'm crocheting in public. Um, I've done many, many projects with it. I've had it for at least one or two years. It took a little getting used to in the beginning, but not too bad. And like I said, it's not heavy. And it also doesn't have like this outrageous price tag that some of their crochet hooks have, which are lovely and beautiful. I will say aesthetically, it's not beautiful. Like it's not, for example, I have one here like this um you know omni or this is a divot hook or like the uh, o fire hooks or the furls that are all really pretty or nelson was which is really expensive you know like this is a divot one i haven't tried it yet and it's really pretty but you know this is resin if it falls it could break i already had a cool colored rainbow pride one that fell here sitting on the sofa to the floor which was like three feet drop and it broke so, if I'm traveling, I'm clumsy, I tend to drop things, I tend to lose things. I lost a clover hook once in the Costa Rican airport. Um, this is a lot bigger, so it's a lot harder to lose, <laughs> and it's easier to find. Um, anyways, so I decided to get the case. We have it in Joann's. It's pricey in Joann's. You know, get a coupon if you're going to get it. I don't know, wait until it's regular price and get a 50 or 60% off coupon or 40% off coupon. If not, shop around. I think Your Inspirations had it too. They also have smaller kits, which just have the different tips and the different like hook parts and then one handle. Um, that's how I first made my set. And then because this peeled, I had bought another one. But then I think like recently, as of the last few months, they came out with this one, which has the kit, uh, has a case. Um, so the case with the bigger kit and I got this on Etsy, so to me it came out a lot cheaper in Etsy because I paid $27 for it. This is what the case looks like. Um, it's not the greatest material. It's kind of like a pleathery plastic thing. Uh, the zipper is metal, and it closes, but I mean, I'm holding crochet hooks. I, I don't need it to be all fancy and jazzy and whatever. Like, anyways, I'm more functional on that, st on that type. I'm not a person that like does designer purses and stuff like that. Anyway, so they put in this like little hook in there, which maybe somebody accidentally put in there, which was a D3, which I no longer use aluminum thick hooks that aren't ergonomic. Oh, and also this is ergonomic. So I've had no hand pain issues while I've been using this, this hook with the tips. Um, and the kit with the case actually comes with two of the, um, These are the thread cutter, the yarn cutter. So that's two of those. Doot, doot, there you go. And um, and then the tips that it comes with, they're different, they're multicolored, so they're a bit easier to find. It comes with an H, it comes with an F, with a G, with an I, with a J, and with a K. And for those who don't know what that is, the F is the F5 size, which is a 3.75 millimeters. Their G6 is a 4 millimeter. 
their H8 is a 5 millimeter, their I9 is a 5.5 millimeter, and the J10 is a 6 millimeter, and the K is a 10.5, 6.50 millimeter. And it's labeled there on the bottom of the box. And then on the back, it shows how to use it. Sorry for the glare. Um, and I'm really happy with it. I mean, uh, yeah, could they make the handle prettier? Sure, but you know, that's what it is. And it feels like it's pretty much the same material. And inside there's a spring, so that's what you hear that. Um, so yeah. And the nice thing is too that um, it, it's like a little hard to get these out to slide them out, which means they're not going to fall out on their own. Um, and also, if you do get one and you have a little bit of struggle with it, just play with it. Just make sure you're pushing it, you know, in deeply enough and twisting at the same time and fidget with it. You'll eventually get it out. <laughs> Initially, when I got it, it took me a little while and then I got used to it. So, yeah, so I found that the, the best price for me at the time was the Etsy. Um, but definitely, you know, shop around. I don't know, do a Google search and click on the on the tab that says shopping, and that'll show you the different prices for stuff. That's how I find many deals for different tools and yarn and um, crochet books. So, yeah, so I wanted to show that. Um, I also started another shawl because, you know, I haven't finished my other projects, so I also started a lovey. Um and I started this one, which is the High Expectation Shawls, which is a um, bag o day crochet pattern. Um, I started it yesterday, actually, last night after the live stream. I think it's coming out pretty good. I'm using a six millimeter hook. This one actually works up corner to corner, sort of. So you're, you're working it this way, um, like this. It grows like this. Um, so that's pretty cool. And it has its own border. Um, and Stephanie, thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie had mentioned it to me. Um, and she had mentioned that she made it with this yarn. Um, it's the Red Heart Roll With It Sparkle yarn. I actually bought it at Ollie's for $3. So <laughs> yeah, $3. You can't beat that. Um, and it's really pretty. It's my first time using this yarn. It's 100% acrylic. It's a um, medium worsted size 4 yarn. It recommends a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, machine wash and dry, or five millimeter knitting needles. This color is opal. Um, it's 5.29 ounces or 150 grams, 561 yards or 513 meters. I 97% acrylic, 3% other fibers. I may have another cake. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how big it gets with this one, but. It's going pretty good, so maybe one cake might be enough for me. Um, so that's what the label says. And that's like all the stuff. And that's the color. With the lot number and all that. Um, so yeah. So I wanted to show that. Now let's see, time-wise. I'm at 13 minutes. I may as well and go ahead and open my other days of gifts from the countdown and Christmas in July box that I've been meaning to do. Um, I was too tired. I've been really, really tired these last few days. Um, so yeah, sorry. And I have like a ton of doctor's appointments, which is normal. I'm not going to get into that. So, um, yeah, so let's see. So that's day four. This is day three. And I have a different video where I talk about this box unboxing and then the live that I did last week on Friday I show the box and I mention it so it's a countdown box Christmas in July that um, it's raining yarn Russ was selling and I bought it I'm not gonna wait till July so I'm gonna open them now so I'm gonna open day three and four today spoiler alert if you don't want to see it you can stop the video now <laughs> Because that's what, you know, I'll, I'll show these things and then I end the video, so. But thanks for watching. If you like my content, please click like and subscribe. So, yes, day three. Oh, and the box comes with um, 12 days of special style craft DK yarn with an extra day with yarn and a blue bag. 
and a 13th day that has other special yarn that's not that yarn and it comes with gifts for each day so let's see let's see today's color i figured since i didn't do one yesterday then i was already Ooh, that's pretty so this is khaki very pretty green khaki color And I mean, it has taken a lot of self-control to not open the whole box already. So, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> and then for day four. It's a pretty orange color. Ooh. Reminds me of pumpkin. Ooh, it's spice. I was close. I was close. That looks really nice. So I'm going to show the other colors. That was day... It doesn't matter. It's just random. That's day two. Ooh. And this is day one. That's day two. So these are all the colors so far. I figured it'd be cool to show all the colors as I go. Um, so now for one of the gifts. Sorry about the crinkles. You'll live. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's so pretty. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Aw, thank you, Jack. So Jax made these. I was like, I could almost wear these as earrings. <laughs> So there, that's her channel. So they're really pretty stitch markers. Very, very pretty, thank you. And she had made these. She also sells them, I believe, on her Etsy shop when they're in stock. So. That's such a pretty kitty. very pretty man i wish these were earrings <laughs> they're a little heavy for earrings but yeah that would be so cool as earrings jaxie do you make them as earrings too or necklaces let me know <laughs> i'm interested just saying i just needed a little lighter anyway thank you so much russ thank you so much jaxie um my other gift where'd it go where'd it go Ta -da. Ooh, maybe it's a book. Maybe it's a planner. Maybe it's a journal. Very pretty. Sorry. Let me take this out of the plastic because you can't really see it. It's very nice gifts. Thank you, Russ. I love the gnome, too. And my scissors. They were really nice. Mm. It's a very pretty. can wrap it Ooh, it's like a note it's a notebook it's very nicely bound I like that it has the holes so that you can you know change the paper out when you're done with it and reuse the outside binder so I think I'm gonna have to rewatch the video to see how this wraps <laughs> So there we go. I got it. I got it. 
It was so fancy. So yes, thank you so much. So that's everything for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Again, if you like my channel, please click like and subscribe. Um, I started doing one of the loveys, but I haven't gotten very far. I just started his head last night. It's a dino. Um, so yeah. And I want to eventually probably do a book review on these books. But I don't want to do it in this video because it's going to be too long. And I may throw in this one depending how tired I am or not. Which I had gotten in Ollie's and I saw it recently. And I'm thinking this would be great because it's like a lot of rainbow colored baby projects. So I think it'd be cool for like rainbow baby or like if it's um. Or especially for pride month. Um, just really cute little items. And I got it at Ollie's for $3. Even like a little diaper cover. I might make that for my friends, maybe. Um, this is adorable. So anyways, didn't want to do the whole book right now, but I got too excited. <laughs> Ooh, techniques. I love rainbow. You know, I like it when the books have like a picture of what all the patterns are like in one place and it doesn't seem like this one does. It has a blanket in here that I had seen, which I was like, oh, that's a cool blanket. There was another one. I was like, I love all these colors. That's cute. Whoops. That little rainbow mobile gradient floor mat thing. It has those cool things on the back. And that's the ISBN number in case you want it. I guess it sells for $19. I got it for $3 at Ollie's, so it's a great deal. Okay. Thanks, folks. Bye. Have a good night or good day.